So let's begin, shall we? For the first one, we're actually on our hands and knees. If you have knee issues and you cannot do this, you can just forego the stretch. This is for the back line of the fascia. So um, do what you can and don't force anything. So let's start. So we're gonna start in a four point kneeling position. So the hands are under the wrists and the knees are under the hips. Okay, the feet are flat. You can also tuck them if that's more comfortable for you. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be just sitting the bum back. Now, don't worry how far you can go, okay? So you may actually still be up here, it doesn't matter. So come on back and you're going to sweep the arms down beside you and you're gonna actually round out the body and tuck the head into the knees. So just feel yourself stretching, pulling, so you're actually rounding the pelvis under. So pull the ribs up and take some breaths. Good, take a nice big inhale and exhale. If you're straining your knees, feel free to come up a little, okay? Don't feel that you need to have the knees down the entire time, okay? Good, from here, yeah, so this is just a nice little warm up. It doesn't actually, the stretch, we're just warming ourselves up. We're coming around, placing the hands in front, come back into your four point kneeling position. Good. From here, you are going to keep the hips over the knees and you can tuck the toes again if you want, do whatever feels good. You can even put cushioning under the knees if you need to. You are going to walk the hands forward. And as you walk forward, you bring the forehead down. Okay, so stay here for a moment. So this is, again, the back line. So what you wanna make sure is that, so this is me rounding out. Okay, it's actually really stressful on my shoulders. So pay attention to my pelvis and my spine for now because I'm not gonna have my hands out while I show you this. I want you to imagine like you're rotating and folding at the hips. So your tailbone's actually drawing up towards the ceiling, okay? Um, in my yoga classes, when I teach a hip fold, um, I lovingly and jokingly say, be like a high school girl. So pop the bum out, right? So it's to get that fold. And to feel your whole thoracic spine opening. So your thoracic spine is the spine where the rib space is. Okay, good, and just stay here and breathe. If it's too intense, get a block. Put the block under the forehead instead. Okay, that's totally fine to do that. It will lessen the weight on the shoulders if you need to, okay? Good, so just stay here. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the right arm and we're gonna walk it over to the left. So it's just gonna say hi. So we're just getting a slight side bend. Good, nice deep breaths. Now, you're gonna end up wanting to look underneath that left arm and that's fine. You're gonna take the right hand and walk it underneath the left and we're gonna stay here. The head's resting on the arm so you're doing a slight rotation. So where you're pulling from is this hip all the way around and under. This is great if you do any sort of sports that require you to have rotation or even if you don't move a lot, okay? You want to make sure that you do maintain the ever so important rotation. And when you sit into the arms and the hands, feel yourself sort of sinking back into the hips, okay? Nice deep breaths. Good, from here slowly come back. Good, bring the arms back to neutral. Good, take a pause. Good, we're gonna slowly walk the hands back up. Good, and we're going to go ahead and curl under and sweep back, okay, into our first initial pose. So tuck the chin, so go where you can, so this should feel like it's a bit of a break, especially for the shoulders. Okay, keep drawing the belly up. Keep tucking and folding in, good. Ready? Yep, that right shoulder should feel pretty good in the back. We're gonna move the hands back in front again. Good, come up. Good, you're on all fours. Ready? You're gonna go ahead, walk the hands forward. So walk forward, hinging at the hips. Good, slowly sink down. Good, yep, again, block under the head if you need it. Stay here for a moment. 
Good, and you're gonna go ahead and start to take the left over to the right. Good, so first just a side bend, okay? Make sure you're not squeezing the shoulder to the ear, okay? So sink wide, okay? And feel yourself actually moving and stretching through the torso. Don't yank your shoulder, okay? The shoulder is important, but don't just be getting all the movement from your shoulder in the socket. Okay, you should be getting movement from your whole body. Ready, that left arm tucks under, and we're gonna rotate, put the head on, and soften the belly up into the spine and breathe. Nice big breaths. After this, we're off our knees. Okay, we're on our back for the rest of it. This is just getting that whole back chain to lengthen first. It's a great first stretch. Big breaths. Good. Breathe all the way down into the base of the ribs. And feel yourself breathing up in between the shoulder blades. Yeah, and exhale. Good. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And we're going to slowly go ahead, take the arm out, place the head down. Bend here a moment. Good, just relax. And then slowly start to come up. Good, yep. And we're going to go ahead and make our way onto our back. Now, if you know right away that you may want a pillow, go ahead and get a pillow. Um, you can keep a block handy if you wish. Good, so what we're going to do is we're gonna come all the way down onto our backs. So that should feel really good. Your shoulders should feel pretty fantastic. So the next stretch that we're going to do, um, if you've ever done any sort of fitness class at all, chances are you've done some sort of variation on this. But usually the lines aren't specifically um, mentioned. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and um, you're going to extend the left leg and bend the right one in. You can also do the other side first if you want. So if you're mirroring me in the video and that's best how your mind works, then just put that into your consciousness that you're just mirroring what I say. Now a lot of times people ram the knee up. Don't, okay? Just don't. Because we wanna get movement in the hip and as soon as we do this, we're actually jamming. So we've just stopped our body from accessing other parts. So you're gonna go ahead and grab the knee and you're gonna slowly start to pull over it. Now, pause for a second. Get the shoulders back and down, okay? Make sure that the ribs are down and you're gonna go ahead and slowly start to draw yourself over. Now, if you notice my front line, see where my knee and my thigh and my belly and chest are? See how it's bowing, okay? So that's actually pulling me out of alignment. So what I want you to do is you're gonna push, lift, move the body over a little, bring the leg in, now rotate. And notice now how I'm a straighter line. And that's what I want you to do. So keep the back shoulder down. You're gonna extend that arm out, so just to get weight into it, okay? So get the shoulder down. You may lift and adjust the shoulders. That's totally fine. Good, we're not there yet. We're just breathing into it, so go where you can. This is where, especially if you're on the floor, you might want to block, you can also use the arm, okay? And what I want you to do is try to extend that leg. So stretch it out, and when you do it, watch the line here, okay? So if you're tight in your back, you're gonna go like this, and you're gonna round, and you're gonna try to do whatever you can, and you're gonna end up crunching forward. Don't do that, <laughs> okay? This is one of your spiral lines, okay? So you have to feel yourself spiraling. So you're gonna take that hand and reach it up and out. So get that nice line. It should actually be right here. I have a box in the way. So, but stretch it out. Good, and you should feel that right pec, the right delt, right? Stretching, especially if you're right-handed. Okay, and through the leg, you wanna feel through the glute, down the IT, 
Okay, nice deep breaths. This is where, if you want, you can get stuff and you can support the leg. Remember, I'm on a machine called a reformer and so I'm off the ground. So I need a few more things there. And I want you just to reach. And you can bring your gaze over the back shoulder and we're just gonna stay here and breathe and release. Now, don't forget that long leg, okay? Keep it lengthening. Keep this hip rotating forward. Keep this shoulder rotating back. So where that comes from is the ribs pulling back and the hip coming forward. So draw the belly in, take a nice exhale, and feel transversus abdominis kicking in. So softly lift through pelvic floor, just about 10%, not much. Just so that you don't go to your back, make sure that you're not squeezing your anus. Make sure you're not clenching your jaw. Okay, remember the janus. <laughs> Good, and just breathe. So breathe, feel the ribs expanding. Feel where you feel the tightness and breathe into it. And exhale. Now, if you want this hand, you can actually spiral it and rotate the palm up and even behind you more as long as that shoulder stays down. Nice deep breaths. Good, breathing deeply. So you'll see when you get to a good reach, if you see my leg line and you see my arm line, they're actually in line with each other. And that's a good pull. So you don't want your arm down here, right? So you have to sort of use your, your visual a little bit. Maybe you have somebody who can look over that can help you. Nice big breaths, good. Take an inhale. Good, and you're gonna exhale. So first things first, you bend the knee. Slowly return back, okay? Let the elbow bend, slowly coming back. Good, now you're gonna feel all wonky again, remember, because we move the hips over. Let the other leg softly bend, lift, place the hips down, good. Okay, that should feel really good through the side. Let's go ahead and extend the right. Okay, good. So now we're gonna go over to the left side. So if you need to, right, move everything over to the left so that you have it over on that side to help support you. Okay, good. So we're gonna bring the leg in. Good, grab a hold of it. And you're gonna start to draw it over the body. Oh, but I forgot. We're gonna move the hips over this way. There we go, and draw in and bring it over. So as it comes over, you don't have that bowing in the body. Now, get that arm out to the side. I know you lose my hand a little bit. So get your arm out, draw in the belly, good, and feel the hip rotating, keeping the shoulder down, keep the ribs down, draw everything across and reach long through that leg. Good, nice deep breaths here. Now, next step, you're gonna straighten out the leg. Now I'm fortunate enough here that I'm close enough to my wall, so I can cheat, um, which is actually a fantastic stretch for your IT. Nice big breaths. So reaching the arm and starting to find those angles. So as soon as you start to really pull and rotate, again, draw the belly. Good, lift softly through pelvic floor. And you're going to notice how good that feels. Nice deep breaths. If you want to hold um, poses for longer, if you notice one of your chains is tighter than the other, always feel free to pause the video and hold a little bit longer, okay? Nice deep breaths. And remember, you may feel it in one space if you're doing it with a friend or a family member. Um, you may, they may feel it in another, and that's okay because it's a whole chain. So it just depends on what you do with your body and your day. Nice deep breaths. Good, and just feel yourself. Imagine if you have that tugging. You have that tugging fascia. Yeah, it feels kind of gross, eh? That's why you never roll out your IT bands. That's one of the worst things ever. Okay, because your IT band, it's a ligament. 
and it's fascially attached to the muscles underneath it. And ligaments don't go back. So if you overroll it, it gets no blood. Um, so you're gonna hurt yourself. You're, you're actually destabilizing your hip in a really serious way. So this is a much, much better way, especially with the foot against the wall if you need to, much better way to stretch out those IT bands because literally you don't need to stretch your IT bands. It's a ligament, okay? It's a fascial release that you need and don't jam anything into them either. Like either get a Thai yoga massage or something, but yeah. Ready, let's take a few more breaths here. Good, and again, you can rotate the palm up, so I'm just rotating it up. Good, turn the head. Good, one more time. Good, and slowly, you're gonna bend to the knee. Good, and slowly. So move gently, right? Like, don't just throw yourself back. There's no need. I don't know why we're in such a rush. Okay, don't be in a rush. So, okay. So that was one of the spiral lines. Now we're gonna work on the second spiral line. So that spiral line was the front of the upper feeding through to the back side of the lower. Now we're gonna flip it. We're gonna do the front of the lower and we're gonna spiral into the back of the upper. So it's tough to get into. Um, this is one where you might want somebody watching you so that you do it properly. So we're going to start. I'm laying on my left side and you're going to come on to the left side. Yep. And you're going to um, take the bottom leg and you're going to just extend it forward on a bit of an angle. Yeah. So this, this will come in handy if you happen to have um, something that you can hook your foot on. Now remember, like I said um, before, that I don't have, um, I'm not fascially a very tight person, so I may be able to move where into spaces where you may go, wow, how is she doing that? Or I'm trying to get there and I can't. Don't judge, okay? So just listen to the cues, okay? So the bottom leg is forward. That's just sort of help you balance a bit, okay? You can soften it if you need to for now. So the chain is working the right and the right, okay? The right front, if you're right-handed, is gonna be tighter, so it's gonna be tough, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and slowly extend and reach back, tuck the tail, and reach the arm forward. And you're going to keep coming forward and reach and rotate and rotate. And if you can, you can reach forward, okay? The bottom arm's just relaxed in and you're stretching. So pull the top hip back, okay, good. Now, the big thing here is, because I can go way back and still not get much, is that you're not arching into your back, okay? Don't do that. So it's that you're staying tucked, so you feel the gluteal crease, and you're staying open and rotating forward and stretching. Nice deep breaths here, just staying here, stretching, breathing, stretching, breathing. Good, stretching. And make sure the shoulder isn't up, pull it back down and extend, okay? And make sure you're supported. So I know right now I'm floating in the air. That's fine for me. So for you, make sure that you're feeling yourself moving. You should not feel any strain through the back. This is pulling forward, pulling forward, pulling forward, and this is continually pulling back. So tough chain to stretch, okay? And on the right side, if you're right-handed, you're also tighter or stronger, usually, hopefully, in the right oblique area. So you may feel those obliques tugging and pulling too. And same with if your lats are super strong on the right side, which isn't very likely if you're right-handed. <laughs> so you're probably gonna feel this more in the lower portion of the body. You can extend and straighten the bottom leg if you wish to, so that um, 
it's supporting you a little bit more. But make sure that you're not aggressively pointing the toes. So instead, think about reaching through the space between your ankle bones. Nice deep breaths. And again, you can pause the video if you wish to stay a little bit more. Again, if you feel strain in your back, you've let it go. So you need to re-tuck, re-lift, make sure that you're not sagging down into the mat so your spine needs to be straight. Good. And we're gonna slowly pull the leg and the arm back in. <sighs> Relax. Take a breath. You should feel good. We're gonna go to the other side. So on the other side, if you're right-handed, and if you're left-handed, just assume like, that the opposite may happen. Lots of my lefties are actually more ambidextrous. So that's for you guys to, to try to figure out. Or hey, contact me and we'll figure it out for you. It can be a little bit of a game. Um, but typically, if you're right-handed, this back of the left side is stronger, right? It's your stabilizing side. So let's go ahead and try this, shall we? So you're gonna go ahead and take the right leg and relax, make sure the waist is lifted. Good, you're gonna extend the back leg back. Yep, good. And make sure the hip is up. Good, so that bottom leg helps to, to keep balance. Okay, so draw the belly and let the hip rotate. Now you're gonna reach that arm forward. Good, yep. And you wanna pull forward, pull forward, pull forward, pull forward. Pull forward, pull forward, and feel yourself the rib space, the shoulder space. Keep the hip back. Nice deep breaths as you lengthen and reach. And again, shoulder, don't let it sneak up. Pull it down. And here you may feel the lats more. You may feel behind the shoulder more if you can grab onto something or just like walk your hand into something. That'll help. Good, and keep reaching that left leg back. Now, chances are you may not feel as much happening in the front of the left side, especially in the lower half. The left front obliques typically are weaker, okay? So they, because on the left side, we usually f go to the back of the body because the back's where we stabilize from. Nice deep breaths, good. And just breathe, let the head relax. Good, and keep thinking about reaching and pulling down. Find that angle that works, right? You might need to move it around a bit. Good. And again, if you wanna stay here longer, so say that you do something that results in you being tighter in the upper body, you wanna stay here longer, just hit pause and breathe into the rib space, really stretch it out, right? For the lower body, say you're a lefty and you're really feeling this through the flexor, soften the belly in, right? Make sure that you're still softly engaging through pelvic floor so that you don't automatically go into your back. Good. And let's slowly bring the leg and the arm in. Good. Take a breath and then roll back onto your back. Good. So from here, so that is our spiral chains. Good. So we've done our back chain, we've done our two spirals. Now we're getting to our last pose and it's our lateral chains. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, it's funny because this is sort of, taken from um, yin yoga. Well, it's not taken from yin yoga. Yin yoga took it from this, or I don't know, chicken egg, who knows. Anyways, um, it is a yin yoga pose, um, somewhat. It's called banana asana, and I love it because you really are putting your body in a banana shape. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna lay, and you're gonna lay with your body as an X, okay? So, arms are up. Legs are out, everything's good, right? Everything's happy in the world. So let's see. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to stretch your uh, non-dominant side first. So I'm very right-handed, so I'm gonna do my left side first. So I'm gonna move my left leg, and I'm gonna go over. You always move the leg first. I'm gonna cross it, okay? So I cross my ankle. You can just barely see that, and my pelvis 
is still in line with the ground. So I'm at a slight curve through my waist. Okay, now, and I'm probably gonna get rid of the pillow for this one. There we go. Now I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna lift and I'm gonna come over. So I am in a banana shape. Okay, now you're relaxed. So try to get the shoulders down. If this is too far down for you, take your hands on something. So get a block, a yoga block or something. So don't strain your shoulders, okay? And you're just gonna keep trying to go over, keeping the shoulder blades flat. Make sure that your arm isn't up into your head and just stay here and breathe for a bit. Soften the belly. Good, and get a nice curve through the spine, shoulders wide. Good, from here, what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you just spiral and reach this arm up. Good, and just reach, 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 and then slowly go back. And that should feel really good. It might be hard to do. A little bit of core. Sorry guys, I guess I have to bring a little bit of core into everything, right? So bring it forward now. Feel, it's not dislocating the shoulder. Keep the shoulder in the socket. It's moving your shoulder blade. So protracting the shoulder blade up and away. And then you can let the shoulder stretch a little bit away from the shoulder blade. All with awareness. Pull the ribs down. Good. Let the head go with it. And slowly go back. Good. And see if you can get a little bit more movement. You might be able to get a little bit more side bend through that. Soften the belly. Make sure your back isn't popping up. The low back should be lifted a little if that's your natural structure, but um, it shouldn't be forcefully popping up. So you shouldn't have strain. If you do, you might have to undo the legs or the arms a little bit. Take a nice big inhale. Just stay here for a few moments. So what we're gonna do, first we're gonna undo the arms. So take the arms out, good, and bring your upper body back to neutral. Good, then very gently take the leg out. Good. So now we're gonna go ahead. So the reason why we did that side first is because it likes to stretch. It's like, woohoo, this is awesome. And this one likes to be tight. So I want us to end with the side stretching that doesn't like to stretch because then we're gonna be ending in a more balanced position for our bodies. Sneaky, I know. So, ready guys? Let's take the arms up and out. Good, and you're gonna go ahead, take that right arm up and over. I did it backwards. So, come back. <laughs> and take the leg over first. So you just wanna take the thing with the most weight over first there. Now there's no problem with the arm, but it's just watch your spine. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and do the arm. Good. And shoulder blades are flat. Hips are flat. Good. And I know I feel a slight stretch on this side. You could feel it through the side, the actual side and through the hip. You might feel it deep against the spine, right? Against the erectors. So nice deep breaths, ready? Take that right arm, yeah, and you're gonna go ahead and bring it up and stretch it and reach and stretch the whole back chain. So try to feel it all the way down to the hip. Reach, 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 it doesn't matter the angle. Play with the angle and slowly come back down and see where you go. I know my hip wants to drop back a little. It's like, oh, it's comfy. Yeah, good, again, let's go ahead. Press, reach, curl, reach, 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 and slowly come back. Good, nice deep breaths. Good, you might get a warming sensation back there. That's blood flow. <laughs> so one more time, let's go ahead and up, and reach, and stretch, Good, and slowly come back. Good, and just stretch into it, drawing in the belly. Good, see if you can deepen it. Mm -hmm. 
Take some breaths. And slowly we're gonna go ahead and bring the upper body back around. Good, let your arms come down beside you. Good, let the legs come out. Good, and if you want, you can walk the knees in. Just let, so don't squeeze, just let the knees fall in. Good, and gently rock. Good, just rock. Good, and now would be a great time to um, add my Shavasana, or my final relaxation uh, video, and just take a nice break. Otherwise, please be mindful when you get up. Please make sure that you go over to your side, spend a few moments. We have been on the back, and we have been on the back moving the blood. So just um, be very aware, please.